Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Breeze Selfie Drone from Unique. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Unique's designed the Breeze specifically for first-time pilots. If that's you, welcome. Here in the United States, you're joining more than half a million registered drone pilots, and we're glad to have you with us. Okay, so let's see what we got. So the first thing we find is this sturdy plastic box, which contains the drone itself, as well as a set of propeller guards and a battery for the aircraft. Now there's a second battery installed inside the aircraft with this little foam rubber spacer to prevent it from sliding forward and powering up the aircraft during transport. I'm gonna keep this and use it myself. Taking a look at the Breeze, it is clearly a very functional design. It's plastic, but it feels very sturdy, so I'm guessing it could take some knocks. I do like this plastic box, so you can just toss it in your backpack, but I wish it had a handle. The drone has a fold-out landing strut under each motor. Pilots refer to these as the undercarriage. We've got folding props, a digitally stabilized camera on a one-axis gimbal, as well as sensors to help you control the aircraft a GPS antenna, an optical flow camera, and an infrared altimeter. Unlike many other drones, the props on the Breeze come mounted in place and they're meant to stay that way, unless one becomes damaged and you have to replace it. On the side of the aircraft, we have a USB port for downloading your content, and on the back, we have the power button. These prop guards snap into place below each motor and it's an especially good idea to use them if you're a new pilot or if you're flying indoors, because they'll keep your aircraft from crashing if you collide with an object. This small box includes some spare propeller blades and mounting pins for when I decide I don't need to use the prop guards. Inside this box, we have a beginner's guide and a quick start guide. Inside the box marked accessories, we have the battery charger, a power cord, and an A to micro B USB cable. One thing you aren't going to find in the box is a memory card. The Breeze stores your photos and videos in its own internal memory. Now with the battery installed, this aircraft weighs about one pound, which means you are legally required to register it with the Federal Aviation Administration before you go flying outdoors. It's a quick and easy procedure. Click on register. Create an account and enter some basic information about yourself. It's a $5 fee and you will immediately receive your registration number, which you need to display on your aircraft. When you buy additional drones, there's no need to re-register. Just put the same number on each new drone. First, let's get the battery charging so it's ready to go flying when we are. Connect the charger to a wall outlet and then slide the battery into place. Treat these batteries with respect. They use lithium polymer technology to pack a lot of energy into a small space. That means we can fly for longer, but also means they can be volatile. Never leave a charging battery unattended and keep them in a fireproof container. Before we can go flying, we need to install the app called BreezeCam. It's available for both Android and iOS devices. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch it. Insert a battery into the aircraft and hold down the power button to turn it on. Make sure there's nothing fragile nearby, including your fingers, in case the propellers start turning unexpectedly. Bring up the Wi-Fi manager on your smart device, locate the breeze, and select it as your network. Next, enter your password. The default is 12345678900. On the left side of the screen, you will see a live view from the aircraft camera, and you can access your gallery on the right. Be aware that there is some latency in the video signal. What you're seeing on the screen right now actually happened a split second ago in real life. The menu button allows you to change the settings for the aircraft and the camera. To fly, click on the tasks button. This brings up the five flight modes that are available with the breeze. Pilot, Selfie, Orbit, Journey, and Follow Me. Before we go flying, let's take just a minute to review the rules of the sky. 
Never fly your aircraft further than you're able to see it with your own eyes. Corrective lenses are okay, but binoculars aren't. Don't fly near airports or manned aircraft. Don't fly over crowds of people or at large public venues. And always fly in a safe, reasonable, and prudent manner. Also, I'd recommend you join the Academy of Model Aeronautics. They help protect our rights as pilots and provide members with a $2.5 million liability insurance policy when you're out flying for fun. Now that we're ready to go flying, I'm curious to see how the Breeze performs. This is the first time a major manufacturer has released a drone with these features at this price point. Now let's go flying. So the final step we need to take before we can go flying is to calibrate the aircraft compass. This step is required because there's a variation between magnetic north and true north. And it varies with where you are on the surface of the earth and also with time. So if you fly from one side of the country to the other, or if you wait a year between flights, you're going to want to recalibrate the compass. The first step in the process is to remove any metal objects from your person, as these can interfere with the calibration. Also, stand away from metal objects in the environment. To begin the compass calibration process, click on the menu button, then drone settings, and then swipe through until you come to the compass calibration page. Click Start Calibration. The blinking yellow power button indicates that we're in compass calibration mode. There are little animations on the screen that will show you what you need to do. Basically, you're going to rotate the drones in each direction in three axes. Once you hear a beep, the animation on the screen changes and you rotate the drone accordingly. That's one more beep and one more direction to turn. Through each step in this process, you'll see a percentage done completion on the screen. When the compass calibration is complete, you'll get an indication that you're ready to go. I'm going to start off flying the breeze in what's called pilot mode, which most closely resembles a regular RC controller with two sticks. A crucial thing to remember is that the Breeze is first and foremost a selfie drone. It always expects it's going to start facing you. So for a regular RC guy, recognize when you take off the controls are going to be backwards from what you're expecting. You click on this letter R at the top of the screen here and that changes the controls to what you're accustomed to. Go ahead and tap the take off button, then acknowledge the environment is safe to fly in and the Breeze lifts off all on its own and hovers about three feet off the ground. From there, you can take control. So first impressions flying the breeze under manual control is that this is an extremely docile aircraft. It responds very gently to control inputs. It, it will never be winning awards for speed. But that's okay because for its mission, you don't want this thing whipping around the sky. You want it nice and smooth and controllable. And I must say the position hold is excellent. Between the GPS, the optical flow, and the infrared altimeter, it just stays exactly where you want it to stay when it's hovering. Now as an old school RC guy, I definitely miss the tactile input that comes from using physical sticks. But the, uh, the screen does put a lot of nice information right here where you need it, including the battery life and the uh, GPS signal strength, which is very good to keep an eye on. The return to home function also seems to work extremely well. Tap to engage it, confirm, then the aircraft ascends to clear any obstacles, then nice and gently comes back to you and lands within a foot or two of where it took off. Pretty impressive. Now I'll show you some of the video coming off the aircraft. This is 1080p at 30 frames per second. And keep in mind that all the stabilization is done digitally. So next, let's put the Breeze through some of its specialized shooting modes, beginning with Selfie. For several of these different specialized modes, you need to tell the drone how far away from you it's going to be sitting. That way it knows how big to make the circle as it's orbiting. So the Selfie mode control scheme looks very different than your conventional drone controls. Uh, across the top, you set the distance the drone is from you. On the right-hand side, you set its altitude. 
and across the bottom you set its position in an arc around you. And then on the left you can control the angle of the camera gimbal. The center actually isn't a control, it basically acts like a radar screen telling you where the drone is. The orbit mode uses essentially the same basic controls as selfie mode, except you can set it up to orbit something other than yourself using the point of interest button. Also, when you activate the camera, you can simply use one button to tell it to orbit left or orbit right. It'll do so without any further input from you. Next up is the journey mode. And that's Unique's name for the classic drony shot, where it pulls away from you and reveals the environment around you. The initial setup basically works like orbit or selfie, except once you've got your initial point set, you click on the camera mode, and there you tell it how far you want the journey to go. Then once you've done that, you just click start, it gives you a quick countdown, and it's on its way. Finally, we have the classic follow me mode, which has been enhanced with image recognition. Now when you first launch follow me, it comes up with something that resembles the pilot controls, which is how you position the drone relative to the target. Then click over to the camera, and using two fingers define a box around the target you want to follow. Then click go. We've got two flavors of follow me, controlled by these icons at the top of the screen. With the eyeball illuminated, the drone sits in a single location and simply tracks the target by yawing. However, if you engage the arrows, the drone will actively follow the target. Make sure it doesn't run into trees or other obstacles that might be in the environment. So that was our look at the Breeze Selfie Drone from Unique. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to subscribe and let us know your thoughts about the Breeze in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Fly safe.